A hemangioma occurs in 1.1 to 2.6 percent of the newborns. It's uh, due to uh, vascular proliferation. It's a type of hamartoma where the normal tissue proliferates. It's not a tumor. It can be clinically unapparent at birth or there may be just a pink patch on the skin. Uh, it can grow over the first few months of life and it can persist uh, in 10 percent of the newborns uh, right from early infancy. It tends to involute by 50% uh, by 5 years, 70% by 7 years and 90% by 10 years. So these are examples of hemangiomas once they have grown. In the evolving phase they may appear smaller and they may not be raised as well. The hemangiomas needing treatment mainly depends on the location. So this is a before and after, a large one next to the nose and the eyes. This is uh, just below the eyes and if it grows or ulcerates there is a risk. Uh, so we have to treat this as well. And uh, this one is on the lower eyelid. Sometimes I've seen right in the nostril or in the genital area where there is a risk of ulceration. So uh, an ulcerated hemangioma can be quite a difficult problem. So if you see a hemangioma in the scrotum or in the labia of a girl, for example, you have to be very gentle with the skin care and also we have to treat it uh, early. So the ulcerated hemangioma which has responded and faded. So treatment is indicated if the sight is over the eyelids where it can obstruct the vision, close to the nostril where it can block the breathing, genital area where there is a risk of ulceration. Uh, currently we don't use the steroid therapy which used to be used before or a laser can still be indicated if they don't respond to propranolol. However, the first day of treatment is propranolol therapy. The dose is gradually increasing from 1 to 3 milligram per kilogram per day. A suitable uh, monitoring at initiation and at increments is important as well. There is a good uh, review article which I have quoted here and the table is taken from that uh, review as well. So we have a dosing protocol suggested by oral suspension uh, produced by dissolving 10 milligram tablet because we don't have the suspension. We may have a separate uh, formulation for this to maintain stability. We recommend inpatient monitoring for the first six hours uh, to you and a half day stay. The dose should be increased from one milligram per kilogram gradually over two to three milligram per kilogram per day. So here uh, it says one week, but sometimes we continue the two milligram per kilogram dose for a longer time before we increase to three if needed. And the target daily dose is administered as three divided doses. The common side effects are bradycardia, hypoglycemia and hypotension. Uh, because of these, you need an ECG at the start as well. It's not uh, clear here, but uh, obviously uh, we have to monitor the blood sugar, we have to monitor the ECG before starting, consider an echocardiography as well and observe the baby blood pressure and sugar during the initial few hours of starting and at each repeat. Follow-up is also important and uh, if the lesion has become static, uh, we can start halving the dose and stop it. Uh, it's important to involve the pediatric surgeon as well because in uh, ulceration can be a complication and they may need to be involved or if it doesn't respond to treatment.